So I presented on a, a new approach to multi-board systems design using Altim Designer and also all the issues around multi-board assemblies because it, it's almost inevitable that products these days have more than just one printed circuit board inside them so that designers have to be aware of the broader system and design everything to fit and work right the first time. Well designers do need to care a lot about multi-board systems design because you know it's so easy when designing printed circuit boards and electronics to get so focused and down in the details of, of the one particular PCB assembly you're designing right now. It's a really detailed engineering process that requires a lot of focus. And, but in doing that, it can be easy to overlook some of the other issues. And so engineers need to design multiple boards with an awareness of the overall system, how the boards fit together, how the components will clear when they're assembled in three-dimensional space, how it's going to work with the overall enclosure, how to align things and get the board shape right. And so apart from even just the mechanical aspects of it, there's also electrical as aspects, there's signal integrity, there's power consumption through the board-to-board -board connectors and how many, how many amps per pin can you have and, uh, and what kind of ground return paths are needed for, for the signals to maintain good signal integrity, to reduce crosstalk, and to meet EMI requirements or FCC certification requirements, not radiating too much noise because you create ground loops through multiple boards that you hadn't foreseen when designing each board in its individual isolated state. You need a system that allows you to design them all together with an awareness and an ability to synchronize and move things between them so that you don't run into those kinds of problems and you ideally should much more easily with the right multi-board systems awareness and design tools be able to get, get everything right the first time. Actually quite a lot of designers that I know that that have access to any tool they want. They could use Altium, they could use uh, Orcad, Allegro from Cadence, they could maybe use Pads from Mentor uh, or even uh, Expedition. And the one thing, this, there's a whole lot of small things, but something that keeps coming back when we talk to people who've moved, made the decision to use our software, I guess the number one reason comes back to ease of use. I mean, ease of use in, in a lot of different technical software industries like CAD, um, uh, mechanical modeling, simulation synthesis, there's tools traditionally that have been comprehensive and powerful or easy to use. And it doesn't have to be exclusive or. In the past, it was like that. If a tool was easy to use, it meant it, it was missing a lot of capabilities and you couldn't design the cutting edge of technology with it. But those days are well and truly over and gone. And one of the reasons Altium is a popular uh, design package, Altium Designer, is because, is because it has that ease of use and a, a modern user interface that's easy to find your way around and it, it, it's context sensitive so it prompts the user what to do next. So in doing that it simplifies the process and users move over because really they have that easy to use aspect but without sacrificing functionality that, that allows them to do more complicated designs. And um, you know, with Altium Designer, we're very soon to release Altium Designer 18, which has improvements to the multi-board design editing, which I mentioned before. So it will allow you to take multiple different PCBs and bring them together in 3D and align objects and move mounting holes and move connectors to be in alignment and manage the connectivity across multiple designs, but it, it does it in a way that's pretty straightforward and easy to use. And then of course we have uh, improvements to our active route, user driven or human driven automation for routing many signals uh, and the, probably the main improvement to that that's coming is that 
it will not only route a whole lot of signals to a user-guided path through multiple layers of the board, it will simultaneously do the length and phase tuning for, for things like DDR. So it's going to save people a lot of time. And, uh, and so the, I guess the final point of why people who use Altium tell us that they use it, another big reason is they can do more boards in less time. And that's really the bottom line. Not formally announcing, but since we're presenting multi-board systems design here for the first time, it's actually because we are about to release in the coming uh, two to three months, release the latest version of our main uh, tool, Altium Designer, which a lot of PCB designers use our software and know about it. Um, and with version 18, which is coming out this year, we are introducing new features for multi-board modeling and systems level design that we didn't have previously. And so if, if we were announcing anything, I guess you could say we're announcing that.